So we start with physics and we continue from where we left. So we are done with the theoretical explanation of the first law of Newton. And we'll do a little bit of revisions once again, Newton's first law. Okay. Newton's first law is also known as Galileo's law of inertia. Though your syllabus doesn't mention about it. And the first person to tell about this law was Galileo, not Newton. And Galileo's law is what you actually read. A body at rest remains at rest and a body in motion continues to be in uniform motion. Galileo said continues to be in a straight line with constant velocity. Isn't it uniform motion? Same thing. Unless and until it is acted upon by an external force. Newton says unless and until it is impressed upon by an external force. So law actually Galileo's law of inertia hai. Okay. You want to write it down? Write it down. Newton's law of motion stay says a body at rest remains at rest. A body at rest remains at rest. And a body, mark the words properly. Okay. If you are at rest, you remain at rest. Okay. And two citations are there. If you are in motion, you continue to move with uniform motion, which in other ways you can also say that you move in straight line with constant velocity. Constant velocity means there is no change in your direction or magnitude. So body at rest. Continue remains at rest and the body in motion continues to be in its state of uniform motion unless unless and until it is acted upon by an external force to change to change its state of rest or uniform motion. Aap dekho samaj mein aagya. Again, a body at rest remains at rest or a body at motion continues to be in uniform motion. That is motion in a straight line with constant velocity. Unless and until it is acted upon by an external force to change the state of rest or of uniform motion. Sudriti, if you think a red color is not visible to you, do tell me immediately. The most important thing is the word external force. This fellow is actually either the influencer or the culprit as you may like to call it. The external force is someone which is either bringing a body from rest to motion. Okay. Or it is changing uniform motion to non you know not be rest why rest you are going in uniform motion you must slow down non uniform motion to uniform motion to non uniform motion clear in both the scenarios in both the scenarios when this action has happened acceleration is born and when this action is happening, acceleration is born. Aise samjho cheez ko pehle. Acceleration is born. Right? You were at rest. What is your velocity? Zero. You came in motion. Velocity changed. Acceleration is born. Born. Here also acceleration is born. That means if we now try to map them, the best mapping would be external force. So as I always say, if you bring this mathematically, we say, if you want to bring this mathematically and you want to understand it in simple physics, then it's like this. This is a system, right? This system and this system right now is in zero resultant force, means the forces acting on it is zero. Suppose an external force comes on it such that this external force is right now the net force that is acting on it. This is the net force. Understood? Right, resultant is zero means there may be a lot of forces, but resultant is zeros. My ears being pulled on both sides, resultant is zeros. Now a net force has come additionally. Net force that means body gets a net acceleration in which direction? In the direction of the force. 
दिस इज न्यूटन फर्स्ट लॉ ठीक है सो बॉडी एट रेस्ट रिमेन्स एट रेस्ट बॉडी इन मोशन कंटिन्यूस टू बी यूनिफॉर्म मोशन अनलेस एंड इट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय एन एक्सटर्नल फोर्स वन यू गो टू ग्रेड इलेवन एंड यू डू प्रॉब्लम यू शुड फर्स्ट लुक एट यूल गेट लॉर ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स डायग्राम यू शुड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड इज देर एन नेट फोर्स ऑन द बॉडी so right now if i try to pull the tube like this side there is a net force on the body it's coming towards me that means it has acceleration towards me and if it is still not coming towards me then the net force is zero that means something is holding it back theek hai pull this bar it doesn't come towards me something is holding it net force zero but if i am able to overcome that force and bring it towards me body from zero gets velocity so it has got acceleration theek hai ye ho gaya Today we will discuss a lot. Which Shorya one day said, "What does that mean? Why is it called Galileo's law of inertia?" The word inertia will come into it, right? So we say that means. Are we fine with Newton's first law? Newton's first law does not give any quantitative definition. It just gives you an introduction to something called force. So as per Newton's first law, what is force? A force, if acting on a body, will create an acceleration in the direction of body. Push Neha that side, Neha will move that side. That is the net force acting on her, right? A force when acting on a body creates an acceleration to the body in the direction of the force. That is Newton's first law. It does not tell us what is the measurement of the force. It does not tell us how to quantify that force or what is the value of that force. Okay, but as we talk in terms of Galileo's first law of inertia, what we need to understand now is that word of inertia. Now, one thing we get very nice out here is that suppose this was a ball. Which is kept on the ground, okay? Which is kept on the ground in rest. We observe that the ball has a tendency to remain in rest. खुद से move नहीं करेगा. It won't move on its own. Don't expect it. That's what the law says. A body at rest remains at rest. Shorya was sleeping. He loves to sleep. Unless woken up by father, go. There is a class today. Else, what he will do? He will continue to sleep. No offenses. I mean, that's what the human body is. And the same Shorya, when last night he was watching, say Netflix till one o'clock, then when his dad says, "Now oh, your example just like that," when his dad says, "Go to sleep," which he was happily doing this morning, he doesn't go to sleep at that time. एक एपिसोड और देख लेता हूँ, one more episode, binge watching. So a body which loves to watch a TV, loves to watch a TV. So if you are in motion, you will have to be in motion. Say we tell. Uh, our friend Sanvi, best example. Sanvi, go and get a bag of butter. Mm, not now, I'll go. Go na. Not now, I'll go. Then what do you have to do? Give one patta. I told you to go to the patta. What are you doing? So once you get that dose, external force, you change your state. So we'll compare this with human beings also. So we see that a body which is at rest loves to be at rest. That's what the law tells us. And a body which is actually in motion, it loves to be in motion. Or it wants to be in motion. It will not change its state unless this external force comes. Now, this thing is explained by a property of the body, which is known as inertia. Inertia kya hai? Inertia wo hai jiske liye you are disobedient at home. Please go and get one if you have a pet at home. Go take the pet for a walk. Not now. Do you ever agree immediately? No. We don't. But when a little bit of dose is given to us, we immediately agree. The dose can be compared to the external force. If we play, we love to keep on playing. We don't want to come back. But early morning, if the play is something like a coaching academy, which you have to go now, you are sleeping. Get up. You have to go for ah uh, two minutes more. So inertia is the property. You can write down the definition. Inertia is the property of a body due to which it opposes. a change in a state of rest or of uniform motion inertia is the property of a body due to which inertia is the property of a body due to which it opposes any change in a state of rest or of uniform motion a pehle samajh na itna bar bolne ke baad agar latak raha hai that means you are copying you are not understanding first first understand what did i tell 
our shorya who is sleeping we try to understand there is no point in writing like a parrot our shorya who was sleeping in the morning doesn't like to get up do you understand and when the previous night his father was asking him to sleep the very thing which he doesn't want to give up this morning he did not like to own it last night last night we asked him to sleep but he is not sleeping which means what whatever is his current stature of the body he loves to retain that means if i am sleeping i would love to sleep if i am watching tv i love to watch tv if i am playing i'll play but if i am not playing to ask me to go to play immediately if your friends also call and say suppose he is right now watching some program hey i am coming you all go tum log jao main aa raha hu human being does not try to obey at one go similar is with physics a body now you try to marry this a body at rest remains at rest and a body in motion loves to be in motion so let us do inertia inertia is the property of a body due to which it opposes any change in a state of rest or of uniform motion any change in a state of rest or of uniform motion i'm keeping a picture of you all in this view okay don't mind i love that any any change in a state of rest or of uniform motion that means when the body is actually at rest something is inside it which is resisting it from going to motion sanvi does not want to go to ratnadeep now something is stopping you and if sanvi is roaming outside her mom is saying come back home it's now already twilight evening no i don't want to come back home thodi der pehle jana nahi chahti thi chali gayi to aana nahi chahte so inertia is the property of a body due to which it opposes a opposes any change in a state of rest or of motion now some good things inertia we'll come to this we'll study this in detail today is also is also a measure of mass of a body mass of a body which means kya ho gaya which means if your mass is more your inertia would be very more much more if your mass is less your inertia will be less for example take a small kid with you and make the kid walk in straight line and immediately you turn and you make the kid turn with you kid turns easily next day take a bull with you you turn and make the bull turn ba he'll turn that side inertia is a measure of mass a big body does not turn so easily do you, do you think you know uh, when a cat runs it just goes this way and then watches like this do you think the elephant will do that way you need more external force right so in order to get up suppose a kumbhakarn is sleeping so you will need more force wake up my dear galileo's law of inertia is same as newton's first law now since you use the law of inertia you should understand what is newton never uses the word inertia newton says newton's first law of motion newton's terms is law with motion the law is same but the law brings out a very unique thing which says bodies tend to continue with their existing state if i am at rest i'll remain at rest this wall clock is here since yesterday did it move no it will move only when i move it what is not allowing it to change is inertia it is inside him so the external force that you have to apply to move or change the state has to be something which has to overcome the inertia that's that's why they tell you that sanvi get up early morning and study get out of this inertia get rid of your inertia so sometimes we say tomorrow morning we'll go for morning walk pakka pakka today you give me iphone from tomorrow pakka when tomorrow morning kal bhi kal se na kal se please so we say it's only the inertia that is stopping you nobody likes to go out for a yoga class early morning so what do we say what is the english word we use yeah, this girl has lot of inertia that means she doesn't want to change she doesn't want to inertia means that inbuilt something that stubbornness or laziness whatever you call she has to overcome that then only she'll go for a morning walk so the same thing as inertia you, so external force so what does her mom do her mom gives us a firing which is the external force which takes care of the inertia plus the driving force to make her move so whenever we have an external force to move a body or to change the moving body to bring a moving body to stop we have to overcome the inertia of the body right now inertia is a measure of mass it means 
that more is the mass of a body, more will be its inertia. Just imagine a big block of a uh, big, uh, what you call a rock boulder on the ground. If you want to move it, will it move easily? No. Zada inertia is go. Similarly, have you read newspaper uh, right under the fan? Don't you get irritated? You want to keep it in steady? Does it come into steady? No. Uska inertia? Come here. So we have to disturb Kariga. Right. Now, some examples of this. One of the best examples that we say is you will be asked a lot of examples on this. Number one, let us say this is the inside of the passenger cabinet of a metro rail. Okay. And we make our Zoe sit here. Okay. Let's say this is a bus, first of all. Zoe is sitting in the bus. Okay. Now the bus is moving. Bus is moving. As the bus is moving, anything is happening to her? No, nothing is happening to her. You will be actually inclined more at the back and suddenly the bus jams its brake. What will happen to her? She will immediately come this side. Why? Now look at the structure of the body when it is in motion. When the bus is in motion, where, are, where is her feet? In contact with the floor of the bus. Bus is in motion means her body is also in motion. Does the body want to come to rest? No. But the bus driver spotted something and immediately applied a brake. The bus was brought into rest. Bus also has inertia. But the bus experienced that force, braking force, which brought it to rest, which overcome the inertia of the bus. But what has happened to her? Now, when the bus comes to rest, the lower portion of her body immediately reacts to the force and they have come to rest. Upper portion has not yet come to rest. So design this, what we gave, we gave something called a seat belt to the passenger. Right. Now you should know seat belts. So have you experienced with seat belts? When seat belts, like when I had my first Maruk 800, at that time seat belt was not compulsory. Cars never came with seat belt. We never had seat belts in car. My Maruti 800 never had seat belt, but when it was a protocol in my factory that, you know, in the plant that you should have seat belts. So externally, I got seat belts fitted. Now at that time, from the safety division, I learned something that seat belts are of two types. Have you put on a seat belt? Everyone must have put on. Can you bend forward with the seat belt? Yes. yes. A little bit more better. We call that thing as known as ELR type seat belts. ELR means emergency locking retractor, technical term, emergency locking retractor. The seat belt will allow you to come comfortably and pick up your mobile from the ground. But if there is a sudden breaking done with a shock, at that time, if you want to come, it will retract. you. Other type of seat belts, which we initially had in our car was ALR type, automatic locking retractor. Automatic locking retractor is once you lock it, it will just pull it back, it will pull and lock it. So it becomes discomfort for you as you go on travel. Nowadays, we can even pull the seat belt, make it whatever, loosen or fasten. That's called an ELR type of seat belt. Emergency, quiz mein puchta hai, kabhi kabhi, science quiz bagara. Emergency locking retractor. Make sure that the seat, every seat belt that comes now is an ELR type seat belt. However, the aircraft seat belts which you get are not ELRs. They are ALRs. You put them. कुर्सी की पेटी को बांधने के लिए मेटल बकल फ्लैप के ऊपर उठाइए और कुर्सी की पेटी को बांधने के लिए पेटी को खींचे या ढीला करें एयरक्राफ्ट तो तुमको यू आर नॉट इन कांटेक्ट विद द ग्राउंड एयरक्राफ्ट में सीट बेल्ट देता है फॉर वर्टिकल टर्बुलेंस सो दैट यू आर नॉट थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द सीट ध्यान दे कप्तान ने विमान में सीट बेल्ट का संकेत ऑन कर दिया है सो यू शुड डू दैट सो ई एल आर एंड ए एल आर ओके दिस आर नॉट देयर इन योर बुक बट फॉर योर इंटरेस्ट यू कैन लर्न सीट बेल्ट आर गिवन सो दैट यू इमीडिएटली डू नॉट कम एंड बैंग योर हेड ऑन दिस एनी थिंग दैट इज अनबेल्टेड इन योर कार इज एट एज गुड एज अ मिसाइल देर आर सेफ्टी वीडियोज मेड वेर अर्लियर डेज वी टू हैव कैसेट्स People used to play audio cassettes in car because we never had all these iPhones and all. Even cassettes have caused massive injuries. People are belted. Anything that is left loose in the car is all prone for injury. They will all behave like missiles when the car will undergo that particular collision or whatever it happens. Okay. So ELR type of seat belts. Then other example is I'm move. I'm I'm on a metro train now and I'm standing like this. And then it says. Kripya darwaze se khare rahe, Delhi metro, it starts closing and then it starts going. When it goes, immediately you fall back. Why? Because your bottom portion has moved with the cart of the metro, but your top portion, inertia. Why do you go? 
So it falls back. And then after satisfy, what do you do? You always hold. So they say, which side should you actually, you should always face the direction in which the vehicle is, in which the cart is going or the metro train is going. Because if the metro goes this way, when the metro breaks, you will immediately come like this. And if you go like this, when the metro starts, you will fall on this way. And when it breaks, you will fall on the other side. Got it? So they say that <coughs> sliding like uh, in metro uh, uh, trains, it will be written, doors are sliding, stand away from the doors. People have got a habit to lean like this. The door will just open and you are at rest. Okay. So inertia, see to overcome inertia, what do you do? If you want to catch a running bus, never do that. A running bus cannot be caught when you are stationary. You have to run along with the bus. And when you get down from a running bus, you have to get down and also run to bring yourself into rest because your body, when it's coming out of that bus, it is actually in motion. Understood? Right. Very good. So there comes a question like, physics is so beautiful mechanics, like you toss a tennis ball in your hand, question arises, can you keep tossing the tennis ball if you are moving in a train and you are outside the train's door? If the train changes its speed immediately? Ah. Because here what happens, there is no lateral distance difference between you and the ball. Every time you put the ball up, you think it will come down in your hand. Train mega slow na ball Understood inertia. So inertia is a measure of the mass of a body. Greater is the inertia, greater is the mass, or greater is the mass, greater is the inertia. Just imagine it is easy for you to tame a small puppy, but it's as difficult for you to tame a bull on the road or to turn the bull or make the bull stop for small examples. Let's say we are having a small child running towards us and we want to stop the child. We just take the child on our lap. Not much of force is required. But if you see a big stone is coming towards you, you will first go back to push it. So is this understood? Newton's first law cleared. New Galileo's law of inertia cleared. If they give you examples of inertia, man standing on bus, leaning forward, seat belts, all are with inertia. We're actually done with Newton's first law. If anyone has any more queries or he or she can ask. If not, we'll do Pratichi's favorite thing, rub the board. Anna. Uh, momentum we will study. Momentum is actually a food for thought for second law of motion. First law is all about inertia. First law tells you that you don't love to move. You don't want to change your first law in a definition you can forget in life. First law is one thing. Whatever is your state of motion, you will not like to change it. That's one. If you change it, an external force comes into play, which has to defeat the inertia of your body. And the external force brings an acceleration in your body in the direction of the force. First law says inertia makes rest to remain at rest, motion to remain at motion. If you want rest to change to motion, bring net force. If you want motion to get to non-uniform motion, bring net force. Once you bring net force, you bring net acceleration along the direction of the force. That's all. Okay. Second law will actually quantify force. Now comes the term to quantify force and let's understand Newton's second law. Before we understand Newton's second law, whatever Neha said now, we have to now understand that. Momentum. Momentum. Momentum is a physical quantity which is a vector quantity first of all. Let's first understand the mathematics part of it. I know when I explain it to you, head and tail you will not understand unless we give you theoretical examples. So now we are going to understand the mathematical part. Maybe a little bit difficult for you to understand. Momentum is a vector quantity represented by the letter P with an arrow because it's a vector. And mathematically given as the product of mass into velocity. Wow. Mass into velocity and velocity is V, which is a vector. Mass is M, which is a scalar. Scalar into vector, which is always a vector. So momentum is a vector quantity, which means momentum has got magnitude and direction. What is the direction of momentum? Vector parent ka jo direction hoga. Whichever way is the velocity, that direction. So samajh ki koshish karte hai, okay?
no. Three things on the board. And nobody is drinking water today. Oh, give him water from there. I filled up water. Oh, wow. I'm, uh, what to say, rejuvenated by hearing this. Your love for me. Okay, I've written three uh, examples on the board. A bullet, a cricket ball and an elephant. Okay. Three of them moving towards you with a considerable amount of whatever velocity. I don't say. Bullet hit at you, you know what will happen. Cricket ball hit at you, you know what will happen. Elephant hits you, you know what happens. Okay. In all these three cases, there is sufficient damage that happens to you. All these three objects, if you now now try to see it from physics perspective. Okay. We say that all of three of them have got what is known as momentum with them. And what is momentum? Mass into velocity. If I say the case of a bullet, the bullet's mass is substantially less. Bullet bohati halka hota hai, but the velocity is very, very, very high. Right? If you see a cricket ball, then the mass is still less and it has still good velocity. Okay? And if you see an elephant, the mass is very high and very gently it comes as if it is coming to love that person, but just topples his car. Velocity is down. Understand? Product will be high in either cases. 6 into 1 is 6. 1 into 6 is 6. 3 into 2 is 6. 2 into 3 is 6. Factors are different. So out here what we see, a bullet has huge momentum. A cricket ball also has considerable momentum. Zor se laga to fracture ho jata hai. Or an elephant, I need not tell you what an elephant can do. What comes to your mind when you think about all these things? We have learned about momentum. We are. What is the name of the chapter? Laws of motion. Chapter studies about what? Keep that thing always in your mind. The chapter studies about what? Motion to we studied in first chapter also. What did we not study in chapter 1? What did we not study in chapter 1 about motion? Why the motion happens? By now you have got some idea why the motion happens. Why do I move? How do you connect that force here? Just as an example, in all these things, don't you think something is there? Why do you get hurt with a bullet? Is this not paining? This is pain. What is the difference? Higher velocity, higher momentum, no doubt. What is the impact? Force. Either be force zada hai, either be force zada, either be force zada hai. Right? So if you take a, a faucet, like the washroom faucet that we have, or a, or a water jet, and you put it on a pedal wheel, will the pedal wheel rotate? It will rotate. Force force, high force. So is force related little bit to momentum? In all these cases, is the momentum less or more? Vanya, where are you? Where were you for 2 Last 30 seconds, you are lost somewhere. Okay. Is this momentum more or less in these three cases? If you get boring, you tell me. I can switch to jokes also. Don't worry. Momentum is more? If momentum is more, that's why they are causing more damage, force is more, right? Cricket ball, just put like this towards Neha. Any damage? No force. Momentum, very less. Mass is less. Cricket ball has less mass, less velocity. Bullet, I just put it in your pencil box. Anything happens? No. Elephant, tied and right now sleeping. Anything happens? No, no force. So from all these definitions, Momentum means it is a vector quantity which is the product of mass with velocity. Since it is a vector, it has a magnitude and magnitude is given by the product value of this direction being the direction of velocity. So in SI unit, what should be the unit of momentum? Let's say what should be the unit? Mass is always measured in kg and velocity is measured in meters per second. So the SI unit of momentum is kg ms minus 1. This is the SI unit of momentum. Question okay. Define momentum, write an expression and state is SI unit. Momentum of a body is said to be the product of mass and velocity. Give an example of a body with high momentum, bullet, though mass is less, velocity is high, elephant, though mass is more, a, a bicycle comes and hits you. You do get a little bit of damage, but not that much. A truck, if it just hits you also, you get a lot of damage because truck has more mass. And the momentum is what you call uh, the velocity is less. But overall, the product is value is high. The momentum is high. Understood. Now, let's bring Newton's second law. I'm just rubbing this part. Okay. I'm rubbing this part. And let's bring the second law. Okay. The second law. The second law says 
The second law will actually, what the second law does, this, remember it in this way, first law brings the concept of inertia and also the concept that F net will give rise to A net. Second law, yeah, second law will actually marry force with momentum and will give you a value. First law just tells you about force. Second law will give us also about value. Okay. The second law will also tell us about the value of force. Now, what does the second law says? The second law says, force acting on a body. First of all, body, body. Force acting on a body, on a body. How many of you studied in grade 8 direct and inverse variation? So now those will come into play. Is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum of the body. इसको समझने में पूरा क्लास लग जाएगा लिख लो पहले रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ द बॉडी फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम व्हाट फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी ओके रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम वी टू अंडरस्टैंड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आउट हियर रट्टू मार के तो ऐसे भी हो जाएगा कोई टेंशन नहीं है रेट rate means measured with respect to time measured with respect to time what is the rate that your maid charges when you say so much per month with respect to time rate means with respect to time rate of interest with respect to time per year you get that interest from bank so force acting on a body that means if we somehow know what is the change in momentum of this body with respect to time, we will know what is the force that this body is experiencing under that condition, right? So, can I rub this portion and let's first understand the mathematical part and then we can do it. So, let me bring the expression. So, it says force is directly proportional to change in momentum, okay, with respect to time. So, we say change in momentum with respect to time change in momentum understood clear going more mathematical and now bringing it little bit in your stylish manner we would write that this is directly proportional to delta p over delta t. Delta p means, the p is this, so delta p means change in momentum. Time means the time in which it happened, the time in which happened. We say it's like this, we can write it, f is directly proportional to delta p means we'll write, what is delta p? p final, whatever is the momentum, force has acted on the body. So after the force has acted, what is the final momentum? To the difference of what was the momentum before the force had acted on it, P initial divided by delta T that the time took place. Did, did you understand? Suppose this is actually a body and this is body. This body initially has a momentum P, mass B here, velocity B here. Let's say this is PI and this is PF, final momentum. So why did this change take place? Because a force F acted on it. This was the time T1 and this was the time T2. So delta T, we are actually trying to say what is T2 minus T1 between these two intervals. Nay samjoge to rok lena ha. P final minus P initial. Can it be directly proportional to what is momentum as a product of mass and velocity? Initial momentum matlab initial velocity, sorry, final momentum matlab final velocity v agreed initial momentum means initial velocity agreed no issues can i write it directly proportional m common v minus u divided by delta t got it 
and what is v minus u v minus u is nothing but delta v change in velocity over change in time do you remember what is this quantity change in velocity over change in time acceleration force rahega to acceleration to rehna hi padega bhai so this is m into a f is directly proportional to m into a now what we say in si unit now if you want to abolish this you have to bring a constant of proportionality simple direct and inverse variation whenever you want to take away the proportionality sign you have to bring a constant this is constant k and in si units jab aap si units mein isko padhte hain k's value is always taken as 1 therefore f is equal to m into a write this much whichever step you have not understood let me explain again newton's second law says that the force acting on a body which force which brought you either from rest or changed your uniform motion the first law talks about force the second law quantifies the force it says the force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum that means it is directly proportional to change in momentum what is change in momentum delta p over the time that elapsed delta t delta p is final momentum minus initial moment that's your change final momentum is mass into final velocity momentum is mass into velocity so final momentum is mass into final velocity mass into initial velocity mass is taken constant final velocity minus initial velocity divided by delta t v minus u is delta v or if you are very not comfortable from here you write v minus u by t that is acceleration so f is equal to ma so this brings you the first equation of this chapter f is equal to ma and can we define yes k is constant of proportionality k is constant of proportionality k is a constant because if i tell you like this direct and inverse variation let me say that 5 kg mangoes cost 25 rupees got it okay 10 kg mangoes cost 50 rupees so don't you see that the weight of the mango price of the mangoes over their weight is always constant is it not constant you're basically getting something called 5 rupees per kg right this is your value of k this is the value of constant of proportionality so whenever you have a proportional relation you will have a constant so now if i tell you that zoe go and buy you know uh, 5 kg uh, 10 kg cost you buy 15 kg mangoes you will say give me 75 rupees that will cost you how did you know that because you are multiplying with this constant of proportionality the price of the mango that day is constant at 5 you want to buy 1 kg shell of 5 rupees you want to buy 15 kg shell of 75 rupees got it the constant of the constant of proportionality in si unit has been taken as 1 they have taken that's why because the world nowadays you are not allowed to define the units as per your choice because you might be doing a problem from india somebody might be doing from us so we need to have a constant unit measure and that unit measure is always si unit but see the irony we study everything in si from school to engineering but when i bought this flat how was i sold kitna sft ka hai sft sff is what foot foot is british system because they ruled on us, it's for, difficult for us to forget. How are cakes sold? Pound. One pound cake, two pound cake. British system. How do you buy uh, what you call uh, um, small nails? If you go to a carpenter and say, you go to a carpenter and tell him, Bhaiya, aapna 22.4 mm ke nails is. Madam, aisa, aisa koi nail aata nahi hai. Dare inch ka lagao. Dare inch. Dhai inch. Pona inch again FPS imperial system because the British colonial power was so much that everything still is measured. If you go to Hong Kong and buy bananas, because Hong Kong was under British rule, they still you see the weighing scales all in pound. Even we cakes are sold in pound. Generally, cake is sold in pound. If you see one pound cake, two pound. Now it is we have moved to kg. So SI unit is what we use everything in engineering. Everything is measured in mm, mm, cm, mm, cm. If you go to Amazon and if you go and select any television, you will see the measurements always in cm and mm. Nobody will. But what do you say? Our house is 42 inch LCD. Hai. Again, British. 
65 inch ka television hai. Again, British. Okay, they have a projector screen. How big is it? 12 foot British. That is difficult to get out of us. Scale foot, tile foot, building foot, land foot. Foot. But if you go to America and all, the feet system is there, people will say so many CMs. So many centimeters. Because you should get rid of foot. Foot is with us because we are British is our Lord. If you see every aircraft right at the tail, it will be written BT something. You know what is BT? Any aircraft you fly, Viceroy's territory. Still from the British days. Any aircraft you fly, every aircraft has got a tail sign. Like you fly by the commercial sign, 9W616 flight to Mumbai. That is your commercial sign. There is a tail sign also. VT6066, VTHYBB601, they'll call like that. VT means Viceroy's territory, means we still are under the British crown. We need to. Boat. Right. Got it. So, is this expression clear? We have still not understood Newton's second law. Huh? Second law, we understand what time. Now, this is expression. So, what we get to know from here, a body which experiences more change in momentum must be experiencing more force. A body with less momentum will apply less force. Like if I throw this on your face now, you get less pain because this has got less mass thrown with a less force. If I throw it with a big velocity, like as I tell, as I tell you, if you take a spoon or a fork and you drop it from the 14th floor, it will go like the skull of a person right down because the mass is less of a fork, but it's falling with tremendous velocity. As a result, it acquires a lot of force. So force is directly related to momentum. Now you just think about Kya karne ke liye karte ho ya kya? You did that deliberately. You just pressed it with the spring. If you open it, how does the ripple go out? Because the other day when you left your seat, all the threads below the cushion pad were untied. Yeah, I'm a great observer. One cushion thread may untie. Two may untie. How many legs are there in this? Four. The front one when get untied, the pitcher jata hai. That too, I tie them by pulling them this side, then one knot, then the second knot. Okay. So take a prime mando. So all the threads were opened. Oh, were found open, rather to be legally correct. So either they have been opened. And uh, if you go to the video recording, I had pulled you up after asking you, why haven't you written something? So they might be the action of frustration over my call. Chalo char doriyan khol ke chale jao. Tum aisa nahi hai na. Das bache baatte hai. Ka sabka ek ek thread khulta hai, mein dekhta hoon. They get loosened up, no doubt about that. But all four opening up? Mr. Rajiv Rastogi, big reason to worry, okay? So, have we understood the definition of, because I have been equally super crook in my childhood days, you know. You should, you should ask my mother. My mother, how she has controlled me, she only knows. So, yeah. So, I tell my mother, if we were in US, you would have been in jail by now. Because the way you have hit me from childhood. So, uh, have you understood the expression part? Can I rub this? Okay. If I rub this, then we get to understand some more things out here. And these will be very interesting observations in physics. Okay. Now, so far, what do we understand from here? This is the second law of motion. So I've kept it here and I've kept this expression here. Let's understand. So force that acts on a body is directly proportional to its momentum. To its momentum. Is it momentum? No. Change in momentum. Rate of change of momentum. Okay. That means, that means if I have a body which right now is at rest, Right now is at rest. What is the momentum of the body? Very good. The momentum of the body is zero. And this body, well, think like this is a football on which a free kick has been taken and it's just flew past with a huge velocity. Okay. Velocity acquired by it has been something, some quite substantial. Huge. Has the mass change of this body? No. Mass remains constant. What do you talk about the momentum? 
so the momentum has gone substantially high obviously since the velocity has gone high the momentum has gone high ye cat waise hi rahega pura class idhar thoda dhyan dijiye theek hai so the momentum has gone substantially high do you agree in order to do this there was some soccer player who must have kicked this ball hai aise kick mara hoga aur ye gaya hoga to yahan pe kya laga hoga force laga hoga let us understand this word delta t is waqt time tha 14 42 43 seconds right and within 1 second 14 42 44 the kick has been exerted on this football and it straight away flew so the momentum increased substantially let us put some values to the momentum also so let's say the mass is 1 kg 1 kg and here the velocity is let's say 50 meters per second right so what was the initial momentum zero what is the final momentum now final momentum is 50 kg meter per second so what is the change in momentum delta p out here what do we see the delta p is 50 over delta t 1 second this should actually give me what force right so what is force is f into m into a we have not come up to the unit of force let's see this is kg a means meter per second square i have not yet come to the unit of force don't write it out here let's see the unit delta p means what is the numerator the numerator is kg meter per second divided by another second aren't you getting it kg meter per second square you're getting it correct kg meter per second divided by second means into 1 by second so it's second square same as that of force so how did it change its momentum by 50 in just a small fraction of 1 second kick force was applied on it and say suppose we would have wanted this change in 50 now think that a footballer is able to give slow motion kicks also i say dheere 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 kick marta time laga ke yahi kick ko we will give the same velocity we will give the same velocity but we will take 2 seconds to do this the same change in momentum kg meter per second same thing then what is the change in momentum overall coming up as 25 kg meter per second square don't you think the kick needs to be a little bit less so now do you able to marry if the force is more the change in momentum is rapid rapid that is what happens in a bullet a bullet picks up huge velocity huge momentum because why the force that exerted on the bullet happened in a fraction of second in a fraction of second similarly a bullet which is coming and hitting our skull why does the man die immediately once it hits the skull not pressure when it hits the skull the skull will try to put the velocity of the bullet as to what zero bullet is coming with a huge velocity bullet's velocity wants to come at zero in what time fraction of time time is the denominator mind you more and more you reduce the time the force increases do i get hurt why time is more do i get hurt no tapas you get hurt impact is only for less than a second now some common examples of it if you are a wicket keeper you don't catch the ball like this if you catch the ball like this what is happening the ball is coming with lot of momentum and it strikes your hand and its momentum becomes zero within a small fraction of time won't your palm get pain yes so what do you do you allow it more time to let its velocity go to zero so the, the, the always the wicket keeper will take it like this you allow, you you never take a catch like this then the ball will land on your hand and you'll get pain you put it like this a footballer will take it like this or like this sometimes what happens somebody makes a side throw in cricket and the wicket keeper has no other option but he holds it this way that time he'll get pain aayega aayega but if you actually move your hand along with it then also let's see another example i am doing long jump or i am doing high jump after the jump i'll definitely come on the ground so if the ground is something like marbonite don't you think there will be a lot of shock on my knees 
there's a chance of fracture yes so what they will do they'll give me a trampoline type of a floor or dunlop or sand i will my velocity will come to zero my momentum will come to zero increase this are a simple mathematics are bhaiya isko jaise badhayega ye niche utar jayega simple 5 divided by 2 we get 2.5 5 divided by 3 we get less than 2.5 so if you want the force to be reduced, reduce the momentum. Now comes the action that when a riot happens, a lot of people are rioting on the road. Then the police cannon comes. Have you seen the water cannon of the police comes? Rapid action force cannon will come. And our Sanvi thinks we were going to have rain dance now. No, you will not have rain dance. You know what will happen? The force of the jet cannon jet will be very fast and it will strike your hand. Means it is getting into zero in no action of time. Aapko pain feel hoga. Aur third law mein aapko sithayenge aur bhi zyada pain. Tell me, a fielder is happy when he makes the catch or when he drops the catch? <laughs> makes the catch. I will scientifically prove you that there is a pain when you drop the catch also. That we will see in third law. Like when you are at, you know the position of slips which is just behind the wicket keeper. The ball just comes to you in a rattle pace. So if you don't catch the ball, you will actually feel more pain. One is psychological that you drop the catch. One is mechanically you will feel more pain. If you make the catch, the pain will be less. But whenever the catch is taken, the catch is always taken along the direction. You do it along the direction because the momentum of this ball will reduce and come to zero. My dear, just make sure that you increase the duration that the momentum comes to zero. The momentum comes to zero in one attack. Then I will have a lot of pain. The momentum comes to zero slowly, I'll have less of pain. Like you are walking overhead, I'm working overhead and somebody gives you what you call as a drill machine. If you hold the drill machine in your hand, immediately it will give you a jhatka. Take the drill machine down, again pull it up. You don't feel the pain. Weights, if you're walking on the gym, if you allow the barbell to immediately come on your chest, what will happen? The momentum will come to zero, short fraction of time. Force will be more, it will break your chest bones. Allow the force to come slowly. Weights are never to be done in fast manner. The more you lift it is very good. But when you reduce, when you pull down the weights, allow them to come as slowly as possible. So that the force acting on your arms are less. Because the momentum, because that's a mechanical machine. The machine will want to come down. But you allow, you slow down its pace. So time now for us to define this particular unit. So we don't say that force is kg meter per second square mass into acceleration and the name for this is Newton. So how do we define one Newton? This is another definition that may come to you. They will ask you state Newton's second law of motion, derive the expression and write define one Newton. So one Newton is one kg into 1 meter per second square. Can anybody take an attempt to define 1 Newton? We will say 1 Newton is the force. What is 1 Newton? Like Zoe was asking me, how do you quantify? Zoe now will quantify 1 Newton. 1 Newton is the force which when acting on a body of mass 1 kg. 1 kg you know, 1 kg induces an acceleration or, or produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in it along the direction of the force. So imagine that we have a small toddler at home and we have taken uska ball ya car le liya and this car is what? 1 kg is the mass. Time now is 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0. So if you have given 1 Newton force to it, it means that at 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 1, its velocity which was 0 is exactly 1 meter per second. 1, so means acceleration is how much? 1 minus 0 by 1, 1. If the 1 Newton force keeps on existing on it, can you tell me what should be the value at 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 2? 2 meters per second. Are you understanding? Are we increasing this? No. At 0, 0,9,0,0,0,3, 0, 
वॉट इज द वेलॉसिटी ऑफ द बॉडी थ्री मीटर्स पर सेकेंड आपको नहीं लग रहा है बॉडी की वेलोसिटी बढ़ती जा रही है बाय द टाइम वी कम टू जीरो नाइन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो व्हाट इज द वेलोसिटी वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग टेन मीटर्स पर सेकेंड फोर्स वही है अभी भी दैट मींस इफ दिस वाज एन इंजन ट्राई टू टेक द फील ऑफ इट हा इट इज नॉट गोइंग एज इट्स गोइंग एक्सिलेटिंग फोर्स लगना मतलब एक्सिलरेशन होना इफ देर वॉज नो एक्सिलरेशन वी वुड बीन एट वन 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 आर वी एट वन नो इसका मतलब आप सोचो बाई द टाइम वी आर जीरो नाइन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वॉट इज द स्पीड Don't you think 60 meter per second is quite a speed? Quite a speed? Can you just convert it into kilometers per hour? Me convert karo 18 by 5 kar denge. So 5 into 60 is 12. 12 into 18. Substantial speed, more than 120. Isi liye agar ap gaadiyon ka ad dekhenge, new cars. Whenever newspaper has got car, then they will tell you engine speed, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. They will always write that thing. Am I getting it? bikes and all they will put that at 0 to 80 in so many seconds that means that is the power throttling power of that engine these are things which i want you to fall in love with ye aapko books aise example nahi ab dekho wahi 1 newton force hi hai jab main yahan example de raha tha aapko feel ho raha tha 1 newton kya hai sirf 1 meter per second ek minute gaya nahi aapka speed kitna ho gaya hai 60 and 60 means 12 into 18 12 into 10 itself is 120 12 into 20 is 240. 240 से 24 कम कर दो इट इज अराउंड 218 के स्पीड में गाड़ी जा रहा है दैट इज द लैंडिंग स्पीड ऑफ इंडिगो मेक दिस फन मोबाइल है ना मोबाइल के साथ खेलो टेक योर मोबाइल एंड यू पुट सम स्पीडोमीटर एप ऑन योर मोबाइल नेक्स्ट टाइम यू आर गोइंग ऑन हॉलीडे एंड द एयर हॉस्ट टेल्स यू टू स्विच ऑफ योर मोबाइल स्टार्ट दैट जी पी एस स्पीडोमीटर मैप एंड देन स्विच ऑफ द मोबाइल मीन्स जस्ट मेक द एरोप्लेन इंडिकेटर ऑन Once the speedometer app starts, your mobile is connected with the GPS. It has nothing to do with your connection. You can put aeroplane mode on and enjoy as Indigo starts. You will see zero hundred. You know when Indigo takes off from the ground, it's Airbus A three twenty. At around two ninety four, two ninety seven, Indigo will be up, and then the velocity will increase, 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 increase for how much? Seven twenty kilometers per hour, and then it will it will fly around at six eighty to seven twenty at twenty nine thousand speed, and then after all food and sandwich and all are over, that will come. कप्तान ने कुर्सी की पेटी का संकेत ऑन कर कृपया अपने स्थान पर चले जाए कुर्सी सीधी कर ले कुर्सी की पेटी बांध ले बिकॉज बाई दैट टाइम द डिसेंस स्टार्ट एंड यूल सी योर आई कैन प्रोनाउंस दैट वर्ड दैट इज दे स्पॉन्सर लॉट इन क्रिकेट आई एम नॉट दैट गुड इन इंग्लिश यू एल एस सी वाई ई ऐसा नाम का एक घड़ी आता है वेरी ब्रांडेड वॉच इट्स यूज इन स्पोर्ट्स लाइक अर्लियर इन वेम्बल्डन दे टू यूज रेडो एंड सीको रेडो यू नो रेडो एंड सीको सो ये 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 भी एक ब्रांड है इट्स इज देयर इन ऑल ऑस्ट्रेलियन क्रिकेट मैचेस दे विल हैव दिस ओके सो इसका स्पीडोमीटर ऐप आता है यू नो इंस्टॉल ऑन मोबाइल एंड व्हेन आई यूज्ड टू बी इन माय कॉर्पोरेट एंड गो फ्लाई ऑलमोस्ट 4 डेज 5 डेज अ वीक माय जॉब वाज दिस ओनली इफ यू आर इन शताब्दी राजधानी जस्ट पुट इट ऑन एंड यू सी हाउ मच स्पीड राजधानी इज गोइंग राइट नाउ साइंस पढ़ो मजा लो उसका देन यू विल सी टेक ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट एंड यू विल सी दैट इंडिगो इज जस्ट एंड देन द एयर होस्टेस इज टेल मी So switch off your phone. Phone is switched off. I'm just measuring with the app, and it now talks with the GPS. Nothing required. You don't need to switch on your aeroplane data on, and it will connect and it will show you 297, 298. Your flight will become like this. And when our so-called brainy people think that I've got a BMW and they race around at 180 and so at 220, even the aircraft becomes like this. So what will happen to your BMW? You can understand. वो नहीं समझते हैं तो ये समझ में आया वन न्यूटन फोर्स को डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वन न्यूटन इज अ नेग्लिजिबल फोर्स वन न्यूटन फोर्स कैन प्रोड्यूस दिस स्पीड बाय द टाइम वन मिनट हैज इलेप्स्ड एंड व्हेन आई एम फायरिंग अ बुलेट दिस इज मच मोर देन वन न्यूटन द मास इज मच लेस देन वन केजी अ बुलेट विल हैव समथिंग हाउ मच 60 70 80 100 110 ग्राम्स 110 ग्राम्स व्हिच मच मोर डज इट टेक वन मिनट फॉर द बुलेट टू एंटर योर बॉडी नॉट एट ऑल फ्यू सेकंड्स Time reduced, velocity increased, so force super increased. 
ditch ke aao ditch ke aao it goes inside and gone from your body and bullet has two motion linear circular so it triggers off and goes away got it even they say that if you use a ak47 on river on water after i think 1 meter or half a meter the bullet cannot travel so water see how dense water is so that's they say when the american and the british forces were landing at normandy normandy is a place in france the germans were opening fire that's called the d day landing so they immediately left their boat and you go below because if you go below and try to dive it's cold water imagine france in cold days atlantic at least the bullets will not come and hit you so the bullet does not cannot go below so a lot of so now you understand if a cricket ball comes to you with great force every player who is at slip slips are the position the wicket keeper is the only person who gets a straight view of the bowler and if you are fielding at slips you are fielding here near to the wicket keeper without any gloves and the moment you see this side that is the time when the ball will come to you in a fraction of second it will come and you have to just hold it like this huge pain and huge concentration is required and they always yeah. take the ball in this manner because they want to reduce the momentum so have you understood have you understood what is newton's amma jaan ki dukaan hai okay so if you have understood what is newton's second law newton's second law says that the force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change so this is the si unit of force which is known as newton one last word and we leave the class there is also a unit in cgs system cgs stands for for length instead of meter it will be centimeter instead of kg it will be gram time sense time in that case it is not newton it is known as one dyne dyne mat bolna dyne matlab which hota hai one dyne is <laughs> one dyne is 1 gram into centimeter per second square and the conversion puch leta hai kabhi kabhi 1 newton is 10 to the power four dynes let's quickly see that also patak se 1 newton so what is sorry 1 newton is equal to what beta 1 kg into 1 meter per second square 1 kg is how many 1000 grams 1 meter is 100 cm divided by second square so there are five zeros so it is 10 to the power 5 gram cm per second square which is 10 to the power 5 dyne 1 newton is 10 to the power 5 dynes we don't use dyne anymore we use only newton 1 newton is the force acting on a body of 1 kg mass producing an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in the direction of the force nothing of these words should get missed out when you are writing a definition if you say acceleration you should also mention breaking of a car you break the car then which side are you breaking this side the car is coming towards me brake force is against where is the acceleration against that's why for the car it is deceleration for the car it is deceleration for the brake it is acceleration did you get this thing clear this is a car think you are from the car's perspective car slows down why because car gets a force on the opposite side braking force acceleration is opposite to the car for the car it is deceleration for the braking force it is acceleration theek hai second law bhi ho gaya iske baad hum impulse padhenge and then we'll come to third law then lot of questions will come lot of numericals will come now because you've got a formula now we'll have lot of numericals from second law so next two classes i think one class at least one and a half class second law will only run